hello a very good morning to all those rose lovers out there and it's a lovely lovely day as well uh, today i'm going to show you uh, five top performing rows in my garden and in order to have that top spot they need to be uh, vigorous healthy and has a lovely lovely scent uh, these are not done in any order so very very difficult for me to uh, to pick which one it has top spot and which one comes last so but they're all they're all they're all good in their own ways but today here we have a, a rose called Gabriel Oak and she never never disappoints me every year uh, she's a very very healthy rose and uh, the the, um, a very very blooms vigorously and the most important thing is she has a lovely lovely scent look at that beauty the color is absolutely amazing I'm very, very, very happy with this rose year after year. So uh, I'm going to show you the uh, the rest of the uh, other four roses, which I would uh, recommend as well, as well as uh, my top performing for the year. Here we have uh, Rose Desdemona, and she is and has another spot in that top five category. Uh, again, she has a lovely, lovely scent, a very, very healthy rose. And uh, the scent is lovely as well. It has a very uh, mur scent, which is a, a rose fragrance. And uh, let me sniff it. Yeah. It's got that uh, a sweetness to that mauve scent. Isn't she lovely? And in my opinion, this is the uh, the best white rose in David Austin's collection. Uh, she's been there for about three to four years now. I mean, look at the blooms on her. There's just so many. A very vigorous and healthy plants. There you go. Beautiful. Hence, she deserves that one spot in that top five category. What a wonderful, wonderful specimen. Rose Desdemona, you really, really deserve it. Here we have another rose that are doing absolutely fabulous this year. Uh, this one is a, a rose called Gertrude Jiko and she's normally always the first one to bloom for me uh, she's a very very thorny rose and uh, she has a beautiful sweet myrrh fragrance uh, she's a very very healthy plant look at that she is absolutely sensational and this year she has been exceptionally good giving me lots and lots of flowers and as you know Gertrude Chico her scent is absolutely mesmerizing I mean most people knows know her and knows her scent so uh, I can smell it as well oh wow yeah she definitely deserves that spot and um, I'm sure most of you would probably agree with me as well. And here we 
we have uh, a David Austin Rose called Princess Alexandra of Kent. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite of the roses. Uh, the reason why, because she has the, uh, the most beautiful of romantic flowers. I mean, look at that, that's just halfway open. And this is just before it opens from budding. And uh, this one for me is a very, very healthy rose. Uh, I've got her in a pot. I do have other ones in the ground, but this one in a pot seems to have done so much better. So I'm gonna show you her instead. Uh, she's a, her flowers are one of the, uh, the biggest in the uh, David Austin collection. Uh, her the form is quite compact as well. Look at that. So, so compact. And uh, she's one of the, uh, the one of the best uh, smelling roses that I have as well. And I think so anyway. So in my opinion, so all this is what I think so it doesn't necessarily be that, like that in your garden but for me she has uh, uh, done very very well so she has all the, uh, the three of three good characteristic of a, a, a top performing rose so I'm gonna give her this one spot which she deserves Next we have a rose called Emily Bronte. I mean, this flowers has been flowering profusely this year. Really, and one of the early ones to flower as well. And she has clusters of flowers in each stem. Uh, hence, I, I need to uh, tie her up because there's so many, so many flowers on one stem. and. Uh, the, the stem doesn't support that many flowers. Uh, she has a very, very, very lovely fragrance, a very, very healthy, glossy green leaves. And uh, she really deserved that one spot this year. And uh, we have seven new canes coming through her now so in two weeks time she will be amazing there we go Emily Bronte she really really has done well and a well deserved position in my uh, in my garden So at the beginning of the video, I said there was going to be five uh, top performers rows in my garden. Uh, I want to be cheeky and I want to add this to my list. Uh, I've compiled this list from 50 David Austin varieties in my collection and I've only narrowed it down to just a few. Uh, there, are a there are a few that can come close to getting on the list, but uh, these are just that special there we go this rose is called Eustacea Bi this is a fresh bud and this one is in the mid middle and this one is a few days old and uh, look at the, the, the amount of buds on this one stem Also got uh, three or four fresh canes coming through so uh, in a couple of weeks time she'll give me an amazing show of color and fragrance so here we are she
she really, really deserves that recognized spot in that collection. And, uh, the view I get every morning. Uh, on my next video, uh, I'm gonna do top five best fragrance rows that I have in the, uh, the in my collection. Uh, they won't be necessarily the uh, the healthiest, but ones that have the best fragrance, in my opinion. So thank you for watching and uh, give me a thumbs up.